Today I have a really quick and easy process to add realistic glass reflections to a photograph to make it appear as if a portrait photograph has been taken through a window. You might have seen these creative window portraits around the web which usually feature trendy young people in coffee shops. Taking the photo through a window adds a layer of reflections from the outside world which produces a kind of double exposure effect and makes the overall shot more interesting. By using Photoshop to create this photo style, you can capture the effect of shooting through glass without having to even go outside. To create this effect, we first need a portrait photo. The environment of the photo is crucial, it must be an indoor setting, otherwise it would just look weird. We also need a random image of a street to use as the reflections. I'll link to both these free images from unsplash.com. With the outdoor photo active, go to Select and All, followed by Edit and Copy. Close the document and go to Edit and Paste to place the image on a new layer within the Portrait Photo document. Press Command or the Control key on Windows and T shortcut for Transform. Scale the image so it fills the canvas. Before adding any filters, right click on the layer and choose Convert to Smart Object, so the settings can be altered later if necessary. The reflections on a window wouldn't be in focus, so add a Gaussian blur to simulate this. Apply a radius of around 10 pixels. Change the blending mode of this layer to screen, which allows the two layers to interact by making the darkest areas transparent. To fine tune the appearance of the window reflections, add a levels adjustment layer. We only want these levels adjustments to apply to the street photo layer, so hold the alt key and click between the layer and the adjustment layer to create a clipping mask. Move the level sliders to adjust the appearance of the reflections. Remember the darkest areas are made invisible with the screen blending mode, so making the shadows and midtones darker by moving them towards the right will make more of the portrait visible again. Moving the output level sliders will adjust the whole of the image rather than just the shadows, midtones and highlights specifically. You can also click and drag the reflections image layer around to find the best position so it adds visual interest to the photo, but doesn't obscure the main subject. The reflections look a little too vibrant as a result of the levels adjustment, so go to Image, Adjustments and Hue and Saturation. Decrease the saturation value to take most of the colour out of the reflections. The main benefit of turning the layer into a smart object before applying any adjustments is you can go back and double click each filter to edit its settings. So if you decide you want the reflections to be more out of focus, you can increase the blur. So I hope you found this quick tutorial useful. If you did, a thumbs up to help spread the word would be really appreciated. Subscribe to the channel to stick around for more of my content. And if you want to get your hands on my free bundle of design resources, head over to my Spoon Graphics website. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.